Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Paige and today I'm going to be sharing with you this new little room that we've been working on. This is, I guess it's the den. That's what we've always called it because it's just like an additional uh, room for seating. I feel like maybe the previous owners used this as maybe a playroom, um, but one of the first things that we did when we moved in was paint everything. And I knew that I wanted this room to be this darker shade. I get so many questions about paint colors all the time. This is called Black Raisin. Um, the other gray that's in our house, I have no idea what it's called. I cannot remember it for the life of me, but I know this is called Black Raisin. And depending on what you put around it, if you put more black tone things, it definitely looks more black. Black, but when you put more warmer brown tone things the color definitely comes off more brown so I feel like it's really universal it's a great color and because I want to make this more of a masculine room because this is technically Cody's like man domain for now until we get a different house uh, I wanted to bring in some more masculine elements so I brought in this fur blanket that I found at TJ Maxx this sort of Aztec print rug that I'm still on the fence if I love it or not. And that lamp is just from Walmart. This pillow here that's tufted is no longer in this room. After I filmed this, I decided to take it out. And this pillow cover is from Hobby Lobby. I just covered one of our already owned pillows. We have so many pillows around this house. So the best way um, for price and storage is just to buy covers. So that's one of my favorite places to get covers. I will have all of the things that I can find online down below. I definitely can find this online because I purchased it online. We got this TV console from Wayfair. We absolutely love it. We did have to put it together. It didn't take too terribly long. And this little side table here came from TJ Maxx. So maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to find something similar so that I can link it down below as well. But I wanted to talk um, inspiration for this room and what I had in mind. So. I always, always start off any new decor, pretty much where I get all ideas for everything in life, I always start with Pinterest. And I of course go up to that search box and type in exactly what I'm looking for and I can find so many inspiring things. Sometimes I may just pull like one thing from like one room and use that for like the focal point of a room and it might not even be that you know focal point for that room that i've seen on pinterest but it just sparks so many ideas when i get on there so in our home i like for each room to tell its own story but i also want to keep it pretty cohesive which is pretty easy to do in our home because I really like neutral colors. And I like to choose neutral colors for the biggest things in the room. So rugs, wall colors, furniture, I like to keep that pretty neutral. And I change things out as the seasons go on or as my taste changes. But for this room, I kind of wanted to do that muted green, maybe some pops of brown. So different tones of wood, also tones of leathers. That's the idea that I had for this. I wanted it to sort of be rustic, industrial, almost bohemian, farmhouse-y. <laughs> if you've ever watched any of my other decor videos, you know I'm kind of a mesh of all the things. Someone did comment the other day and say that I was modern farmhouse, which I can totally see. But because this is Cody's room, I wanted to make sure that I got his input. He's pretty on board with all of the ideas. so. I'm thinking one of the other pieces that I would like to pick up for this room that I haven't gotten yet is maybe like a cow skull, like a just the skull itself, like no fur, <laughs> nothing on it like that. He does have a deer head that he's kind of wanting to put in there, but because our ceilings are so low, we don't have like vaulted ceilings or higher ceilings. Um, I just don't think <laughs> that the room would be great with that deer head in there because it's a pretty massive deer head and I feel like anybody taller than us, which is pretty much everybody, <laughs> they would definitely hit their head on it. So if we had higher ceilings in that room, I would definitely put that in there. But I'm thinking um, just for this room, I'll get a smaller cow thing, <laughs> cow skull, and put it above the couch. I think that'll be the perfect place for it. If you'll have some recommendations on where I can find something like that, give me a comment down below and let me know. So before I start putting out some of the new decor pieces that I've picked up, I just wanted to go over the carpet really quickly and give it a good vacuum. This is one of the most trafficked through area in our home because my office is right through that door over there. So I travel through here every single day, multiple times a day. And like I said, my husband sits in here every single evening. So this is a very used room. 
and the dogs love playing in there for some odd reason. They will take all their toys in there and they'll just lay right in that floor. Now, I want you to be completely and totally honest with me, which I know you will be. What do we think about this rug? I mean, I got it at a steal at Ross. It was so, so cheap. And it is really good quality, especially for 15 bucks. But I just don't know. I felt like I initially wanted some kind of hide rug to go in here. But then I started thinking, I can't wash a hide rug. You know, if it's actually like a cow hide, a bear hide, some kind of hide. There is no just tossing it in the washing machine and giving it a wash. So I started thinking maybe that's not the greatest idea. But I just don't know if this is the rug that I want to go for. Which is why that tag is still own it i am so undecided i just can't quite figure it out i mean i love the black and white pattern it's one of my favorites but i just don't know if i love it for this room in particular so i'm sure y'all let me know now let's talk this couch because i've been getting questions ever since y'all seen it back in december we have had this couch since christmas i feel like it was the day after Christmas or something around that time because my Christmas stuff is still up. So it was sometime that week that was Christmas and I wanted to make sure that we really got to sit on it and really enjoy it before I gave a review. This couch is from Burrow and they were so kind to send this couch over. And here's some, just a few things that we loved about it. So it didn't come with any tools at all because you don't need tools to put it together. And it ships right to your front door, which they told me that that will cut off like 70% of like standard shipping costs because they're delivering the couch straight to you and you're not having to go through some like big box store or whatever to get it. So that's really cool. It is very, very durable. Rosie and her dirty little self <laughs> has been all over this couch. She's gotten mud on it and it came right out. So it has really nice hardwood legs on it. It also has scratch and stain resistant seating, which is great. Something that we liked about it, well, something that I really like about it, is the fact that it has a USB port thing over in the arm of the chair. So over on that left side, that's normally where you will see me sitting because I got my Apple charger down in that USB plug and I can just sit right there and charge my phone. So I always keep one right there, super handy. We love the fact that you can get this in like the three seater or four seater. You can even get like higher arms, lower arms, you can get an ottoman, or you can get a sectional. But because we already had a sectional in our living room, we wanted something different. And plus this is almost like extra seating because we can take that ottoman, put it over to the side, and someone can sit there rather than having to be in somebody's face sitting on the end of like, you know, the sectional, the chase kind of thing. Um, but we have really, really, really been enjoying this couch. We got the light gray color, which I thought would be a perfect contrast for this room. Now it's time to just put out all of the other items that I've been sort of hoarding, <laughs> waiting to put things out. This lamp was very simple and I initially had this lamp to go in our living room area but I found a different one and then I had the idea to put it in here and I think it's pretty perfect because like I said I wanted to do different wood tones. Didn't want to stick with just one thing because I just like the look of incorporating a bunch of different ones. So I thought this one was perfect with just that plain and simple white shade brings a little bit of brightness over there. So that was perfect over there, not too big because that's not a very big end table at all. Cody wanted a globe and I fell in love with the tones of this one. So I picked that one up. I was playing around with things over there and that's just way too much stuff. Way, way, way too much stuff over there. I definitely wanted some kind of pop of green over there, but I decided just to go with these two items. Most of the time I like to decorate in odd numbers. This is not odd numbers, but because of the size of this table, we're just gonna stick with what we got over there. I went back and forth trying to decide exactly what color of TV console I wanted to put over here. Initially, I wanted to get something that was more of like a gray washed wood to kind of go along with that end table. But then I started thinking because this is such a small room, I felt like that if I got a white um, console table that it would blend into 
that wainscoting and it wouldn't feel as if that it was taking up so much room and it would make the room feel a lot bigger and I was exactly right it's the perfect size not too big not too small that is a I want to say a 40 something inch TV on top of it so it fit that really well the little fireplace is pretty nice um, anytime I'm in there I definitely turn it on because it just gives me that extra cozy vibe but I love 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 having that white piece of furniture over there and it's good for extra storage this blanket brings a textured item to this couch I still want to put a leather pillow on there because I think that would just really tie it all together kind of like a cognac color if you guys have seen our living room pretty much the same color that we got in there I think that would look really nice in here because if I went any darker I feel like it'll just blend just too much into the walls and that pillow, like I said, I already gotten rid of. I felt like it was just too feminine because of the pleating to go in there. And this black pillow is just another one that I covered. And that pillow cover is just black velvet from um, Amazon. I was about to say Hobby Lobby, but it's from Amazon. These prints have just kind of randomly been in here for the last year or so. I wasn't in love with them. I just seen them discounted at Hobby Lobby and I just put them up there because I felt like the wall needed something. But these prints have been in our living room for the last longest and we love them. But because I redid the area that they were in originally, I didn't want to get rid of them. So I decided they would be the perfect element to add into this room because they had a different tone of wood and they also brought a pop of white to that wall. I think one of my best tips that I can give anybody is to shop your home before you go out in the stores and start shopping for new things just look around your home maybe you got some extra decor stored away and um, just move things around and it'll definitely make a huge difference so this right here is where I was talking about I would put that cow hide thing skull <laughs> where I just took that little mirrored thing down from I think that would be perfect um, so yes this is what I got going on so far if you love what I have put together definitely hit that thumbs up button and let me know down below in the comments and don't forget to leave any recommendations or things that you might have seen that you think would go good in this room I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day y'all bye